I'd like to work through some examples now, typical of the kinds of examples you might have to solve on homework or on a test in your future. So here would be uh, a very common example using the kinds of equations we've uh, presented to you before and calculating the kinds of quantities that would be t uh, of interest if you want to know something about the image of an object in front of a mirror. So let me read this out loud. One says, given a convex mirror with a radius of r is 30 centimeters and an object distance p is 20 centimeters in front of the mirror, please find, number one, the image that is in its distance from the mirror, and two, the lateral magnification m of the image. So I've presented some information. The first instinct we must have here is to start putting some signs on these quantities, because remember, it's all about the sign. So the first thing it's maybe helpful to do is to draw a picture. The object is located 20 centimeters in front of the mirror, and it's a convex mirror. So notice I've drawn one that is bowed out toward the object. P is 20 centimeters, and it's a positive 20 centimeters. That's because everything over to this side of the mirror is on the so-called R side, the real side, and everything that's over there is a positive number. So P is a plus 20 centimeters. However, the radius of curvature here, which I was given in the problem, is 30 centimeters. This is actually a negative 30 centimeters. Why? Because it's a convex, mean, meaning bowed out mirror. The center of curvature is over on this side. And as a result, r is a negative number. And when we calculate focal length in just a moment, that's also a negative number. Then we go to our expression 1 over p plus 1 over i is equal to 1 over f. And I just substitute it in. The f is r over 2. And if I start using uh, some numbers now, uh, if I move over uh, the 2 over r on this side, I have 1 over i equals 2 over r minus 1 over p. And this is 2 over minus 30 centimeters minus 1 over 20 centimeters. And if I write this out, I find that i is minus 60 over 7 centimeters which is about minus 8.6 centimeters. That tells me, looking back at my picture, that I is on this side of the mirror. It's not as far over as the focal length. So if the center of curvature is there and F is at half the radius of curvature, so 15 centimeters, this minus 8.6 is not as far from the mirror as the focal length. So minus 9 centimeters is, you know, part of the way over toward minus 15. So that gives me a, a sense of how to draw this to scale. The other important number is the magnification. Magnification, if you remember, is always minus i over p. So always put a minus sign there and then put in the value for i that you just got, which was minus 8.6. And p is 20 centimeters. And what I find is that the image magnification is positive 0.43. In other words, it's an upright image. If I look back to my picture, it's in the same orientation as the object was. So it points up. And it's not quite as big as the object. It's only 43% as big. So there I've learned about where to draw the image. And I've learned about how big it is. And that's pretty much all I could ask. That's everything I want to know about the object. I've learned its orientation, its relative size, and its location. Those are the three big things I want to know about an image, given any example.